Hello everyone, welcome to Vindavasni Academy. From now onwards, Vindavasni Academy will deliver its lecture in two languages. First is Hindi, second is English. If you are comfortable in understanding Hindi language, you can watch our Hindi playlist. If you are comfortable in understanding English, you can watch our English playlist. So before going to the lecture, I would like to give you a brief what we will cover in this lecture series. So we are covering Unit 6 of CSIR Net Life Sciences, that is Plant Physiology. In Plant Physiology, first we will cover Part 1, that is Photosynthesis. In Photosynthesis, we will cover from Basic to the Advanced Level, from Basics of Photosynthesis to Advanced Level. We will also solve previous year CSIR Net Life Sciences labels. So if you want to master this unit, be with us in this lecture series. So let's start with this lecture. In this lecture, we will understand what is photosynthesis, what is oxygenic photosynthesis, what is anoxygenic photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Photo means light and synthesis means formation. So photosynthesis means there is formation of something with the help of light. So what is oxygenic photosynthesis and what is anoxygenic photosynthesis? Oxygenic photosynthesis means there is involvement of oxygen and anoxygenic means there is absence of oxygen, right? So, if we write the equation of photosynthesis, we can say that water plus carbon dioxide in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll, it will make glucose and it will evolve oxygen in environment. This whole process is called photosynthesis. And why it is called as oxygenic? Because there is an involvement of oxygen. Right? So plant will take carbon dioxide from environment with the help of stomata present on leaves. It will take water from ground with the help of and in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. This green part in plant is due to the presence of chlorophyll. It will form glucose and it will evolve oxygen. This whole process is called photosynthesis. Plant, alga and prokaryotes directly use light energy. Light energy that is sunlight energy to synthesize organic compound. What is organic compound? Glucose or carbohydrate. It's organic compound. From CO2 and water is called photosynthesis. This whole process is called photosynthesis. So photosynthesis is an oxidation reduction process. So what is oxidation and what is reduction? If, there, if in any reaction there is loss of electron, removal of hydrogen and gain of oxygen, we will call oxidation occur. On the other hand, reduction is opposite to oxidation. If there is a gain of electron, addition of hydrogen, removal of oxygen, so we will call it reduction of it. So we will understand this with the help of an example. If we take Mg and an electron is evolved from this, it is converted at Mg to positive, right? So what happened here is there is a loss of electron. If if loss of electron occur, it will call, call as oxidation. So in this reaction, in this reaction, CO2 is converted into organic compound. So we can, uh, we will see from this equation, there is addition of hydrogen. If there is addition of hydrogen, we can say reduction occur. There is loss of, loss of electron or we can say that removal of electron. So oxidation occurred. So a reaction in which both oxidation and reduction process occur, that, uh, that, uh, that reaction is called redox reaction. Right? So let's understand with the help of photosynthesis reaction. 12 molecules of water, 6 molecules of carbon dioxide will form 1 molecule of glucose, 6 molecules of O2 and 6 molecules of water. 
the presence of sunlight and so before before von Neal's experiment so before von Neal's experiment it was found that the it was believed that before von Neal's experiment it was believed that the oxygen which is evolved in photosynthesis is coming from carbon dioxide but this hypothesis was proven wrong by von Neal. What he did, he took, he performed an oxygenic photosynthesis. What he did, he performed an oxygenic photosynthesis. He took sulfur, purple bacteria, and green bacteria. So instead of water, he took H2S and carbon dioxide. So after this reaction, what he observed that after this reaction, he found that there is no evolution of oxygen. After this reaction, he found that there is no evolution of oxygen. Instead, sulfur evolved in this reaction. So if previous, so if previous thought was right, the oxygen is evolved from carbon dioxide, there must be an evolution of oxygen in this reaction, but there is no evolution of O2. So why it had happened? So he took a radioactive element, And he found that this radioactive element is evolved in this reaction. So after his experiment, it was proved that the oxygen which is evolved is coming from water, not from carbon dioxide. Not from carbon dioxide. So if you like this lecture, please like, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you for watching.